Dock Review Pad Overview. This video tutorial will provide an overview of the user interface and available tools in Dock Review Pad. When you open a case file, you'll see the Home button and the Select button on the left side at the top. The Home button will bring you back to the Document Manager where you can open a different case file. The Select button allows you to select a file or multiple files and then press the Edit button to perform various actions on them. Underneath the Home and Select buttons is the search field. As you start to type in the search field, it will filter the document list to only show documents that contain that text in their document name. This is a quick way of finding a document where you know part of its name. This also works for finding a document with a particular Bates number. After typing in the search field, if you press the return key on the keyboard, it will also search the text within documents that have been OCR'd, which are identified with a magnifying glass icon next to the file name, and filters out any documents that don't match the search criteria. As the OCR data is searched, the Bates numbers that were applied in Doc Review Pad are also searched and will be included in the search results. The number of search hits is displayed in a green circle beside each folder or document. Press on the folder and or document to see the results of your search. Under the search field are four filters that allow you to sort and organize how your documents are displayed in the document list. The default filter is Name, which lists your files alphabetically from A to Z. Pressing the Name button again will reverse the sort order from Z to A. The small arrow indicates the current sort order. The Custom filter allows you to reorder and display your files in any order you want. After pressing the Custom button, tap on the Select button and drag the files up or down using the three horizontal grab lines. Then press Done when finished. Pressing the Custom button again will reverse the custom sort order. The Bates filter will list all documents based on their Bates numbering. Pressing the Bates button again will reverse the Bates sort order. The Reviewed button will filter the list to only display files that have had any kind of review performed on them. This could be having a tag or issue code assigned, being annotated with the highlight, pen, or redact tools, or having a note added to the document. On the left side at the very bottom there are three tabs. Documents will list all your documents. Speed Review provides for a fast way to review your documents with swipe gestures and add tags or issue codes with simple taps. For details on reviewing documents using tags and issue codes, please see the separate Doc Review Pad video called Reviewing Evidence. The Tags Issues tab organizes your documents by the type of annotation, highlight, pen, redact, notes, and if there were assigned tags or issue codes. In this tab, a single document may appear multiple times underneath each section that is created for the annotations, tags, or issue codes. If you tap on the document name, it will reveal the pages on which any annotations or review have been done. Tapping on the page number will jump to that page so you can see your annotations, read the notes, or see why a page was assigned a particular tag or issue code. Press the back button to go back to the list of documents in the Tags Issue Codes tab. When you're in the Documents tab, your list of documents and folders will be shown on the left side. Underneath this list is a plus button. When pressed, the plus button gives you options to import documents, import folder, or create new folder to help you organize your documents. The supported file types for Doc Review Pad are Adobe Acrobat PDF, TIFF, JPEG, PNG, and TXT. Our best practices recommendation is to use the Adobe Acrobat PDF format for all documents and photographs whenever possible. For details on importing files, please see the separate video called Importing Evidence. When you import documents, you will be given the option to assign Bates numbers to all the pages.
At the top of the dialog, you will see areas where you can input the prefix, include a separator, and decide on the starting number. The prefix is optional, but might be useful to indicate where the documents came from or who produced them. And you have up to six characters for this information. The starting number is placed on the first page of the first document and will increment with each sequential page. It allows for nine digits and the number will always include leading zeros. The separator is a dash to help distinguish the prefix from the number and does not count as a character or number. If you already assigned Bates numbers during a previous import, the starting number for this new import will be the next available number. Underneath the prefix, separator, and starting number options, you will see an option for the size of the Bates number, small, medium, or large, and border, none, solid, or dashed. The next option is the location of where the Bates numbers will be placed. You have eight location and orientation choices. Lastly, there is an option for a background color, which can be useful to differentiate the Bates numbers you are applying from other Bates numbers that may already exist on the pages. The preview at the bottom of the popover will show how the Bates numbers will look. Once you have made your choices, press the Finish Import button. You will also have the option to skip numbering if you want to apply Bates numbers after you import, review, and call all the documents. To apply Bates numbers at another time or edit Bates numbers already assigned, press the Select button. Select the documents. Press Edit and tap on Assign Edit Bates Numbers. You can also update the appearance of the Bates numbers without assigning new numbers Next to the plus button is an export button from where you can export the documents in the current view or all documents in your case. The export popover has six different sets of options to make sure you can export the documents you want in the way you want them exported. The first option is to choose between exporting entire documents or individual pages. The other options will vary depending on which option you choose in this first step. For this example, we will select documents in the first step. The second option is deciding what to export. The default is to export all the documents, or you can choose to only export documents that have specific annotations, notes, or issue codes assigned to them. The third option is deciding what to exclude from the export process. By default, any pages that have been assigned a tag of confidential or privileged will not be exported unless the exclusion switch is turned off. Next is deciding what to include with the export. These switches will determine what will be visible as markups on the exported documents and whether to include a summary report. For the naming convention of the exported documents, you can choose to use the file names in Doc Review Pad or use their Bates numbers. Lastly, you can choose between exporting to Trial Pad or a destination in the Files app of your iPad. For details on exporting documents to TrialPad, please see the separate Doc Review Pad video called Export to TrialPad. On the right side of the screen is the preview window, which displays the documents selected in the document list. In the lower portion of the preview window are the Previous Page and Next Page buttons, and the Page Slider. The Page Slider shows the page number you're viewing and the number of pages in the current document. You can drag the page slider to scroll through the pages. If you know the page number you want to go to, you can tap on the Page Number Indicator to reveal the Jump To Page option, then type in the page number and press Return. On the right side of the preview window are the Previous Document and Next Document buttons and the Document Slider. The Document Slider shows the document number you're viewing and the number of documents in the current view. You can drag the document slider to scroll through the documents, and as you do this, the documents will be highlighted in the document list to indicate which document will be displayed when you let go. It's important to remember that page navigation is horizontal and document navigation is vertical. Using finger gestures within the preview window, you'll swipe left and right to cycle through the pages in a document and swipe up and down 
to cycle through the documents in the current view. Above the preview window are various features and annotation tools. Starting from the left side is the Expand button, which will collapse the documents list, allowing the preview window to fill the screen. With the document list hidden, when you zoom in on a page, it can fill the width of the entire screen. Press the Documents button to bring back the document list and the ability to select a different document. The next tool is the Rotate button, which allows you to rotate the current page or all pages of the current document in 90 degree increments. To the right of the Rotate button are five buttons for the tools that will assist you in assigning tags and issue codes, annotating with the Highlight, Pen, or Redact tools, or adding notes. The Tag Issue tool allows you to add a confidential or privileged tag, or create and assign your own custom issue codes. To create an issue code, tap on the plus button at the bottom of the popover, then type in a name, assign a color, and press Done. Tags and issue codes can be assigned to the entire document or individual pages. For details on reviewing documents using tags and issue codes, please see the separate Doc Review Pad video called Reviewing Evidence. The Highlight, Pen, and Redact tools work as one would expect and similar to TrialPad. You can double tap these tool buttons to lock the tool on so you can make multiple annotations until you press it again. Choose another tool or go to another document. The Note tool allows you to place virtual sticky notes on any part of a page. And the Note text is included in the reports that are created during an export. Once you add a note to any page of a document, a green indicator dot will appear in the document list for that document. To the right of these tools is the Split Extract button, which allows you to split a multi-page document at the current page you're viewing, or extract pages from a multi-page document by entering in the first and last page of the new document. Next is the Bookmark button, to add a bookmark to multi-page documents, tap on the button, press Add Bookmark, type in the custom name, then press the Bookmark Confirmation button. The last button is the Action button, which allows you to perform various actions on the current page or the entire document, such as printing a page or saving the document to a cloud storage provider. You also have options to include or exclude any annotations, the Bates numbers, redactions, and a summary report. On the right side at the bottom is the Clear button, which will clear all the annotations on a current page. To the left of that is the Undo button, which will undo any highlight, pen, or redact annotations in the reverse order that they were applied. 